Hello, welcome to the video for what is interpolation, the ease node. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this off with a quick little example. You notice when I hit the button, it's going to go to the right side of the screen and stop. Now it looks like a normal interpolation linear node, but what we're actually using is the ease node using the linear function. Now, if you've used a lerp node before, the ease node is going to be very familiar. Basically, it's a lerp node that has different easing functions built into it. If you click on the little list here, you'll notice we have linear and about 10 or so. So let's go ahead and cover this and see how we use it. Like a lerp node, our easing has an alpha, which drives it from 0 to 1, and then a start and an end. Unlike the other interpolation nodes, this is not a current value and a destination. This is a start and an end, with the alpha driving where on that start and the end in 0 to 1 it's going to be. The only difference here is, unlike a lerp node, we actually can choose the different types of easing. So, right here, basically I pick a starting location of my cube. I get an ending location, so that way you can see it go from left to right. And then I go ahead using my timeline, drive this 0 to 1 over 3 seconds, and then basically ease from my start to my end using the easing function I choose. Linear, as you saw, is just a start to end smoothly from 0 to 1. Our other ones are our step. Now if I run step, by default it might be 2, and I run it, you're going to notice it just goes from start to end based on our 3 seconds. Step is kind of cool because it's basically how many steps to go from A to B. So I set this to 10. It's going to have 10 steps over my 0 to 1 from A to B. Now you'll notice that this bottom part is going to change based on which easing function I have if there are any additional options. We have our sinusoidal in, which is kind of like an easing function, but uses the sine. We have a sinusoidal out sinusoidal in out, then we have easing, which you've already used more than likely on the other interpolations. This is just a simple ease in or ease out, where it'll start slowly and end quickly, or do the opposite, or do a little bit of both, with our blending exponential being how smooth it is for the easing in and out. After that, we have some exponential in and outs, now this is going to be fairly similar, but it's got a much quicker middle part. And then we have our circular ins and outs, which is easing, if you read them, easing based on half a circle, easing based on inverted half circle, based on two half circles. If you notice, almost all of these will have a description, which is good. So here's one small little thing. If you notice some of these not really doing too much of a difference, you can actually overdrive your timeline. If we take our timeline, and put our final destination to like uh, 2 for example instead of 1 and then we go ahead and run it you'll notice we get a slightly different result and some of these other ones will give you different results depending on if you're using an overdriven timeline instead of 0 to 1 it's it's a nice way to give yourself a slight variation go ahead and play with your timeline for example um, this could be driven by a timer. It could be used driven by anything that basically goes 0 to 1. This is not an interpolation. You're not going to want to do a delta tick on it. You're going to want to do a 0 to 1, probably pair it up with like a timeline or something else. Basically, if you're thinking to yourself, oh, I want to lerp something from one position to the other, go ahead and take a look at the ease function um, because the ease function basically is a lerp with the additional easing. Now, if you notice my ease function here, it has an input and an output of a vector. It, sorry, input of an AB vector and an output of a vector. However, if you create the ease node itself, you'll notice it's slightly different. It's going to have these grayed out nodes that are known as wildcards. Wildcards are pretty cool. Basically, whatever you node you stick into one of the inputs, it'll change the result and the other input to be the same type. So, for example, if I took a float value here and stuck it in, You'll notice the B changes to float, and the result is now a float. So you can ease pretty much any type of 
any type variable that you pull in. You can do rotators, transforms, vectors, vectors, 2Ds, floats, ints. Um, I don't know if you could do colors. Let's find out. Let's make a linear color and stick it in there. And no, unfortunately, you cannot do a linear color for an ease. But you can do other types of standard starting types that will take a wild card in and out. So keep that in mind when it looks weird. Basically, you need to put in your first variable in order for it to type out the B and the result. And that's it. That is our easing interpolation node. It's a great way to get some nice easing functions in or out on a lerp. Use it whenever you think you might want to use a lerp but have a little bit of flair. It's great when you have a menu pop up on the screen or... I mean, if you think about it traditionally, if something's in locomotion like a person or an object um, and it has control, that's one of the biggest kinks. It has self-control. It's traditionally going to slow down when it gets to its target and it's going to slow down when it gets to when it starts. So for something that you want to have an organic feel, look into using the Ease node. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.